A new wave of crypto enthusiasm is taking hold on Wall Street. This could be perhaps the greatest revolution in financial technology since the birth of the internet itself. President Trump is talking about stablecoins. They're a new type of digital token that's pegged to another asset, usually the dollar. Unlike more volatile currencies, their price, in theory, barely fluctuates. Dollar stablecoins have taken off in countries like Turkey and Nigeria, where inflation is high and trust in the local currency is low. In the West, they're largely used either for getting money in and out of more volatile crypto assets or for financial crime. But Trump's genius act has paved the way for experimentation in America. They named it after me. It confirms that stablecoins are not securities and requires them to be fully backed by safe liquid assets. This new legal status is giving the coins a boost. Today, there are $285 billion of stablecoins in circulation, around 68% more than a year ago. But some banks expect the market to be worth $2 trillion in three years' time. The best use case for them is in payments, because ownership is registered instantaneously on digital ledgers, stablecoins allow for faster transactions. That is especially valuable for international payments, which could be settled in seconds rather than days. The coins could also cut out the need for middlemen like Visa and MasterCard, who currently process payments. Retail giants like Amazon and Walmart are already considering their own coins to get away from the big card companies. Stocks, bonds, and funds are being tokenized too. Tokenized assets are digital representations of another asset. Like stablecoins, they can make financial transactions faster and easier, which could revolutionize trading and the broader financial system. Despite the promise of speed and security, many European regulators remain skeptical of stablecoins. Stablecoins are privately issued and notably pose risks to monetary policy and financial stability. They fear that private stablecoins could displace the public money issued by central banks, which could undermine the ability of institutions like the Bank of England to support the economy. Like countless technologies, the stablecoin revolution could yet come to nothing. But right now, the industry is booming. With the new American regulation, retailers, payments firms, and investment companies are all jumping on board. Skeptics run the risk of being left behind. <laughs>